Hello. <laughs> what a week it has been. I am um, here and I have made a gym catcher and this gym catcher is uh, headed off to its new home today. Um, if you uh, have just started checking in on my videos here on YouTube or um, Instagram, uh, I'm Audrey, Audrey the Alchemist, and I um, have been doing these like customized projects for people. Um, I've really kind of felt a wave of inspiration happen recently, and I've been producing a lot of dream catchers. So um, this was a commission piece, and um, I'm talking about it for the first time. I actually was trying to be, you know, on my game about making these videos and trying to be available on Wednesday to show you how I package it, but I haven't, I didn't find the right packing products until now. So um, I'm going to kind of just go through the process of packing this masterpiece to its new home. And um, a piece like this uh, ranges from one, actually it is $200 and that includes shipping and handling. Um, this piece is actually quite large and the detail, which I'll go over with you in just a moment, uh, is quite extensive and it took, you know, a good amount of time and planning. Oh, hey! <laughs> so, um, I'm just going over some of the elements of this dream catcher that I just made. Um, I've been making dream catchers since I was a kid and I feel like it's a really great way for me to spread my magic with everybody. So let me just get a little bit closer, get a little bit closer here. So here, the lighting isn't like the best right now, but that's okay because this piece is meant to be um, going to its new owner. And if you can see, I have the doors open, the doors and windows in my house open so you can hear the dogs but you can also see the natural like wave and like just movement of this dream catcher when I decide what fabrics and textures to use during the making of this I really focus on like you know how it how it flows and you know there you go I'm look a little bit closer and she had asked me to make a dream catcher with smaller circles. And I knew she meant like she wanted like a multi-tiered uh, piece. And I played with the placement of the other hoops just to see like, there we go, and what would look best. And I um, ended up deciding to let them hang individually along the bottom. And I incorporated some of the jewelry making that I like to do with uh, metal. And I like to incorporate, you know, a lot of my different talents into a piece. Excuse the dog outside. He's a, a protector dog. <laughs> but um, you can also see the quartz. I wire wrap the quartz. And I weaved the seashell. And I placed a clear bead, a clear crystal bead, right there. Um, seashells, I wire wrapped seashells and I included a venturing. You know, elements of like mermaid energy. Oh, there it goes, we just swaying in the wind. Oh, this poor dog. It's totally ruining my video. But anyway, here you go. It's beautiful. Oh, and there's like a crystal right there that hangs and it catches rainbows. I hung this piece up on, um, oh, through the window just to see how it would look like in the wind or in the window. And the beautiful rainbows that actually, you know, reflected were pretty amazing. Uh, just one moment. All right. Excuse me with that. It's living in the city for you. Um, all right. So, anyway. Here you go. Oh, and then I went ahead and added uh, feathers. And the feathers are gold. And they have this really pretty pattern on them. And they are real. They're just painted. So, there you go. And they kind of just kind of blend in. And that's kind of like what makes it look so pretty like that. 
Okay, so cool. Let me get to packaging this thing up. So again, this is trial and error. I have not sent something this big before in my business. So I had to like take the time to actually like go searching for like good quality material. But um, I decided that I was going to press it in between two really sturdy pieces of cardboard. And I'm going to bubble wrap it and I'm going to see if this stuff, you know, really works. I mean, I like to recycle some of the pieces I get from like my orders and such. So here we go. I'm putting my last energy. I also have um, a little bit of sage in here that I put. So I'm clearing the energy as I'm doing this so that um, it's sent off with good vibes. So um, I'm actually going to include some Palo Santo for her and a bundle of lavender wrapped up so that when she opens it up it's like instantaneously smelling good and like it's gonna have good vibes as it goes through the mail system that's at least how I, I feel um, so I don't like to use a lot of plastic but in this case I felt it was necessary to really protect the structure of it so it doesn't like you know get messed up so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some cellophane. If you can see what I'm doing, this would be the best way. It would probably be this way. Yes, okay. So cellophane. Here we go. Bye, Dreamcatcher. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be wrapped up. I'm gonna lay it down nice and pretty like this. And right away the everything kind of just fell naturally, but I'm gonna and wrap it up and I'm going to actually probably wrap it up in a way that here we go that's good I'm gonna wrap it like this and then I have some scissors where are my scissors this is just the mundane part of like doing art which is packaging actually it's not mundane I mean, it's a necessary thing, and I take a lot of pride in how I put things together. So, it's just, I thought that maybe videotaping this process will show you how much I actually really put into, like, the care of the package and, like, what, you know, goes into it. So, I'm going to fold it over like this. And I have these really cool stickers, my little labels. And I usually put like a label right where like you should open it. And it's like just a good, symb I, I think it's a symbolic thing. So right there. So right in the middle of the really pretty circle. And then I'm just going to gently fold it like this and then place some tape which I have right here. Brand new clear tape. So thanks for hanging out with me. Just doing this. Ah. Oh, the music is so funny too. It's like TikTok it makes me feel like I'm on a, a limit here, which is true. I don't want you to have to like be doing all this, but I guess I'm like going through like my own ritual in my head, honestly. Like I have my crystals right here. I have like a good vibe going. I'm by myself. Things are chill in the house. I mean, besides the dogs barking just a little while ago, um, everything's going good. So, all right. So folding it together like this so that the pieces are nicely tucked. All right, and then um, we put this piece. I think that's okay. And just this little bit. Okay, in there, and then. Alright, and then right there. Cool. Alright, so that's that. 
And then, let's see, I want to just package it a little bit with some tissue paper. Actually, it's probably, I don't probably need it. Actually, I do. I do need it because I'm going to put the lavender in it. So, let me just kind of spread this out. Now, I'm totally like in the zone here. And this music is of um, a duo, this female duo. And they're like one of my favorites. I actually saw them at um, Lightning the Bottle a few times. And... Um, you know, they're, they're known to be going, the, the Burning Man and everything. So, uh, Blondish. And Blondish is like super chill. I mean, like kind of trippy music, but I like trippy music. <laughs> and then, ugh. Uh, I just got word that I am like 80% sure that I'm going to Lucidity. Oh, who just joined us? Oh, hey! Hi! I'm here packaging up this really awesome dream catcher with good intention. So right now I'm putting the Palo Santo and the lavender together and I'm putting it right here in the middle because I want her to have it smell good when she opens it and I want to have like that good energy so I'm putting it right down the middle right there. And then here comes the bubble wrap. And this bubble wrap, I usually reuse bubble wrap, but um, I wanted to actually, let's see if this thing works. I lay that down right there. I think I have three of these little bubble things. I glue it something like this. I don't like to use all that much packaging, but I want it to be like super secure. So I'm shipping this off to Hawaii. It's going all the way to Hawaii. So I feel like that might be good. Let me put one more of these little package, oh, these little package pillows individually tear. So there we go. Let's see here. I'm gonna gently try to all right, that might work. That might work. And then I have the tail, and I'll use a smaller bubble wrap for that. So it's working. Um, it's all going to Hawaii. So before I finish off like packaging, packaging it, I'm going to go ahead and add some stuff in there for her. So um, I added lavender, and now I'm going to go ahead and... I signed my card already. This is my thank you card. My logo right there. And it says, uh, Dear, her name, uh, Congratulations on your new custom and totally magical dream catcher. All the love is in the details, the placement of the stones and shells. So many secrets will be revealed over the years, you, over the years that you have this piece. So minor adjustments will be possibly be made as you hang it. So like when you rehang it up, um, some pieces might be tangled up. Hi, hi, boo thing. <laughs> uh, some pieces might be gently, like, just uh, gently unwind it because um, that's natural that like they kind of get tangled up once in a while. But everything is like secure, so um, it could be able to like you know be unraveled um, and then like you know place the way that you want it. Um, so my adjustments will possibly be be made as you hang it. Just gently unravel the misplaced element and enjoy. My intention is that this dream catcher will catch waves of abundance, luck, and beach adventures. Love, Audrey. So, yay! She's a friend that, um, she used to live in Long Beach. Now she's in Hawaii. And we used to have a good time. So, um, it was cool to kind of capture that element. And then I'm going to add some freebies because I love freebies and I love magnets. So, this is, um, my Mind, Body, Soul magnet. Yay! Oh, I need to give you one, Erin. I don't think I've given you a, a magnet, but um, I've been like totally ordering like just total fun promo marketing stuff because um, I've been able to invest back into my business and like I love giving out stuff. So I have that and then um, a little mind, body, soul pin. So I'm going to put that in the, the thank you note. And then um, some information 
I have like a little slip about what quartz could do and it's really well worded. It talks about how um, quartz is the most versatile healing stone and pretty much that quartz amplifies all the other energies. So like all the green adventuring that's in the, the piece will be amplified. Um, so there's more information about the quartz and then I have something from my Dreamcatcher workshop that I had printed out and did. And this is kind of probably more information than needed, but it's pretty much talking about setting an intention. And um, when I set the intention for this dream catcher, I um, envisioned her, um, if it was for her, where it was going to go, uh, what kind of dreams do you want to catch, do you want to hope for more love. So I just kind of went through the thought process. And so it kind of, um, you know, goes through that and like what... Um, in Native American culture, a dream catcher is a handmade object based on a hoop, traditionally out of like willow or natural pieces, and then um, incorporating a loose net and decorated, decorated with items unique to the particular dream catcher. So this particular energy of the dream catcher is like this bohemian beach goddess, like awesome mermaid energy. Um, so there's a traditional belief that a dream catcher filters a person's dreams, letting through only the good ones. So I just wish her, like, good dreams on, like, luck and abundance and all that. So uh, dreams throughout history, every person and culture has placed important, every, nearly every person. I mean, like, if you have, I don't know anyone that has never said, like, oh, I had a dream one time. <laughs> so um, there's some importance on the meaning of dreams, okay? Uh, these archetypal mes messages from the other side are given by various sources. So, like, you know other types of, um, people, uh, not people, but, like, uh, spirit guides, people used to though spirit guides, angels, uh, all that. So, dreams are still powerful in people's lives, and the meaning, meaning can be found in them. So, how to use a dream catcher? Hang the dream catcher near the place where you'll sleep on a wall, or perhaps from a lampshade or a bedpost. Should your dreams become too active, or if you feel the need a break from the workings, uh, of your dream catcher, simply lay it down on a flat surface to render it inactive until you're ready to hang it up again. Uh, where, wherever time is okay if it works. So like, if your dream catcher is starting to like wear down and it's um, it's it, I mean it's working. So like, it's capturing those dreams. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you know, because dream catchers work. So if like you have one and it's caught a lot of like energy and you need to like you know switch it out, that's totally 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 a thing that you could do and then um I always say that it's better to get one handmade with intention versus or make one yourself uh versus buying one I mean yeah you can buy one for a souvenir but I don't know there's just something I find deeper in the magic of dream catchers so let me just go ahead and label this okay okay and then I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the love of my collection here. So I'm going to put this right here next to that lavender. And I have that information right there just for the heck of it. And then, um, all right, let me just put some of this on the bottom. And then I'm going to fold it up and, and then uh, get it taped up. And then I think that should be good. Yeah, because these little pieces on the bottom are still delicate. I wouldn't want them to not be protected. try to get to the, I don't know if FedEx or USPS will work better, but I'm just going to 